Hello, in this tutorial and the next, I will work on the GCD flow diagram that I showed in the class. What I want you to pay particular attention to is how the program control flows and how the variables change. This is also essentially what is being asked in problems one and three of your assignment. The flow diagram is terminated by a start or a main and a stop or an end. We first declare two variables a and b and here we are explicitly defining them to be integers. In the context of computer programming, what declaring means is that we tell the machine to set aside a space in memory for a and for b and those memory locations are identified by a and b. When we declare the variables, some space is set aside in memory but that space is initially un uninitialized. This behavior is very specific to the programming language and we'll discuss more about this later in the class. I then assign two specific values for, the, for A and B. So let's put A equals 100 and B equals 20. Okay, and clearly as defined b is not equal to 0. We then ask the question is b equal to 0 because if b is equal to 0 and a is not 0 we know the greatest common divisor is a. Okay, for this flow diagram I am always assuming that I am not going to use a non-zero input for a. Since not of b equals 0 is true what we are going to do is we are going to follow this path okay and we then come to this point and clearly a is greater than b and once that happens we execute this command okay and in and this is essentially the heart of euclid's algorithm you essentially decrease the value of the larger of the two numbers by the smaller of the two numbers okay and you continue this process till you hit zero and what this statement means in the context of a programming language is that take the contents of A, take the contents of B, compose their difference and put it back into the contents defined by the location A. Okay? We continue this operation four more times and at the fourth iteration we come to the condition that A and B are the same. Now clearly a greater than b is false so we are going to go down this path and once we go down this path b is set to 0. Now when b is equal to 0 clearly b equal to 0 the statement b equal to 0 is true which means the negation or the not of that statement is false so the control is passed on to this output term, output here okay and the program prints out the value 20. In the next tutorial, I will show you how to take this flow diagram and write it as a pseudocode, essentially something close to the language we communicate with each other and show how that pseudocode can be written in MATLAB.